Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to use, uh, I'm going to finish up the series relating to stock APIs. So I currently have two videos out, one for Python, one for PHP on how to use a stock market API to get information like market open, market close, uh, volume, uh, the high and the low for the day. Now I'm also going to show you how to do it um, with Node.js. And so we're going to use this, if you look to go on my screen, we're going to use this uh, Mer boilerplate. I have a video on getting started with and explain how it all works. I'll include that down below. Um, I also have a medium post with this. And with this medium post, I kind of go through the annoyance of finding a valid API. A lot of them were dead, um, not working anymore. But I eventually did find one. It has a demo query. So you don't actually have to put an API key in. You can just put demo in for Microsoft. And as you can see, say, uh, see today is the 14th. Um, markets are not quite open. I guess you can't see the top of my screen. But it's today is the 14th. Uh, markets not open is about 8:30, so you get yesterday's information, the 13th, um, and this is all Microsoft inf information. In addition to using this Merm boilerplate code, which I'm actually going to clone just because it's going to take some time to install all the packages. So open up a terminal, make it a little bigger. I always do this, and it's never a good size. So I'm just going to switch over to my desktop. We git clone and then merge boilerplate. I'm going to sw switch into the merge boilerplate and do an npm install. And that will install all the packages we need. We're also going to use this library to make the get request. So, as you can see, um, it's pretty simple. Yeah, so we're just going to wait for that to install. As we wait for this to install, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's started and tried out Easy API. Um, it means a lot. Tell me what you think. Um, I think I include an email somewhere. On, I, it's in the description my email, um, or you can just tweet at me. I'll take actually free feedback. Um, I, I want to hear what you think about it. So uh, fire fire me an email if, if you're if you've tried Easy API. Um, today I was just going through and verifying all the SDK endpoints all still work, so shameless plug on my own thing, but let's get, get back to waiting for this. Okay, so now that that has finished installing, uh, we're going to have to install the, the request package, so npm install request. I believe this is how you install it. Let's just take a look at the actual GitHub again. I can just assume this is how we install it. Oh, npm install request. Okay, sorry, that's what it is. npm install request. Request, and then we're gonna save it to our package JSON. So if you know if you're sharing this this uh, application with someone else, uh, they know to install this package as well. And with that installing, I'm gonna open up Atom. I'm going to open up our Mern boilerplate code. We have to change one file, the config file that doesn't actually exist. Um, and with that, we're going to just we have to change that one file, and then we'll add in. Essentially, it will be, be just a post requ uh, request to the endpoint. We're all we're not actually using the Mern boilerplate aspect of it. It's just we're using the node. I just know it's all pre-set up. I can just point you to this direction, and I know it it, it should work. So, so let's see this file here, this config example.js we're going to just drop the example part and save it as config.js as you can see it gets darkened because it's in the in the git ignore and you get changes to be localhost 27017 and then db works and you can actually get rid of this entire file you really should you need mongo for this all to run uh, because it's a mern setup uh, but if you don't have that just take a look where the config is that you actually used I think it's used, it's used in this file here. So yeah, config, config, and you just delete it from essentially all, everything here. Um, so you can remove Mongo. But I'm not gonna do that because it's easier. Uh, we take a look at our counters example here. Um, that comes pre-set up. We'll remove most of it. We don't need the model, we don't care. We literally just need one endpoint to try our request. So delete everything. Change it to be API slash API slash stocks. 
usually want to put a version on there too. Close this. I realize my screen gets cut off on the top and the bottom, so hopefully it's all of that. Um, and we we'll jump over right here. Okay, so it's installed, so we can do an npm run start dev like that, and hopefully we're all set up. Okay, so this still has to compile the web pack, so this won't actually load a page. Sweet, okay. We're, we're set up. We have our endpoint is, is working. I don't know if it's actually working, but yeah, I should try it. Let's try it. Why not? Um, as dot send dot success. True message. change the server, it uh, changed the back end, it actually takes down the server, so. And then we're going to start, hopefully that works, because now we're going to start to prep. Request.get. This is where streaming, we just want a simple request. So we're just going to do this, and you come in here, and you paste that here. Okay, the indentation's all off here, but you need the request library. Library, I always make that mistake. As I change this, I realize that I can't actually test my endpoint because I keep changing the back end. All right, let's try this again. We have to first verify that the, the back end works and you'll need Postman. Uh, if you've never used Postman, it's just a REST client. I also use the advanced REST client. Um, it works too. Uh -huh. So we just want to create a new request. Do an HTTP localhost 8080. I think it's API slash stocks. And then we're going to change this to be a post instead of a get. We know that based on app.post, not app.get. And we're just going to fire off that request. So we get our, the response that we expected. We, we add this in. And so it seems like we're good here. Now we can uncomment the request library. Um, get rid of this. I'm going to grab the URL from the actual um, Rust API call. Uh, the API call. We're going to grab the URL from the API call, um, and then we're going to paste it back into our code. And so you can sub in aspects like the the ticker, or you can sub in the your API key. Um, for now, we're just going to make this request to verify that it works. So we do an npm run start dev to get the server up. But we don't actually really care about this response yet. We want to know what comes in the body. Send that. And there's all our data. Now we just have to parse it in an appropriate way. Okay, let's do this. Um, so yeah, we want this to be properly ordered. We only want it to send off the the we're good once it's done loading. So what we're going to do is um, first try this because I don't know actually. I've never actually done this. I'm doing this live. I guess not live, but uh, right now. Um, metadata is a trial element. I, sh I don't know if it's actually... Uh, 
I, like I don't know if it's it's a string or if it's HTML. I think it's just a string right now. So we just do this parse JSON here. If not, you can reference the elements in the body, but so I'm just jumping over here. I would want this here, metadata, just to see if it works. And we're going to get that server started again. These two. I know you're supposed to add error statements and stuff, but I don't want to be printing out a ton of stuff. I just want to see what the stuff I need uh, right now. Hit send. Okay, so see, as you can see, I, I, I got the um, just the metadata in the second part there, which is perfect. Scroll. So I'm going to hard code the next uh, bit, but you should do this dynamically. You go like this, and you put in the, um, the last day. So um, you find the today's date, and if it's below 9 a.m., you. Um, if it's below 9 a.m., you uh, get the previous day's date. And so what we're going to do is just say, I should pass that back. Run start dev. And so what we'll do is we'll send off this post request and we'll receive the latest stock info. I, I've hard coded it, but don't hard code it. Sub in the ticker, sub in the, your API key, sub in the uh, stock info. We're up and running. And as you can see, you get it here. I mean, you can parse through that, removing any numbers, um, or just working, doing some sort of regex to cut. Only you only want everything after the space or something like that, but and convert these to actual decimals. But that's the general gist of it. Um, getting stock information with uh, Node.js. I know the Mern stuff is a little hard, but I know it works. That's why um, we start with it. It's not this video is not related to Mern. This is a Node.js. Uh, getting stock information with Node.js using the request library. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. I've included all the links that I've kind of mentioned in this video down below as well.